<laughs> House mouse, why are you so out of breath? Uh, we waited for you and we waited. You were almost late. Yes, because I ran, because I was almost late for this program, because I was in the shop, in the supermarket, and I stood in a very, very long row and waited and waited. I was so impatient. I was almost angry. Oh, then today is exactly the right day for you because we speak about patience and about a God who is patient. Is God patient? Yes, God is patient. He has a watch with a lot of time. Actually, the Bible says He's waiting for us and for those who don't know Jesus to return to Him. So our God is patient. Actually, there are five character attributes of God in Psalm 145. It's also in Exodus 34. The Lord is gracious, gracious, compassionate, compassionate, Slow to anger, slow to anger, rich in love, rich in love, and faithful, and faithful. Can I try again? Yes, I think let's look at those five attributes. The Lord is gracious, compassionate, slow to anger, rich in love, and faithful. I remembered. Yes, you remembered all five. I'm so glad you did. But you know what? God wants to teach us also to be patient. I don't know how to learn patience. Well, I think it puts you in circumstances where you need to learn patience, just like a friend whom I met through the internet. She a real friend? No, I just like her so much that I call her a friend. Her name is Mrs. Ann Sullivan, and she doesn't live anymore. Who's she? She's a lady who lived in America. And she also had an impairment in her eyes. And what did she do? She heard about a young girl of seven who couldn't speak, who couldn't read, who couldn't laugh, who couldn't sing, who couldn't even write. Oh, that's bad. If you're seven years old and you cannot talk and you cannot read, that's the time you should start drawing pictures and enjoy your life. Yes. And did she go to school? No, she couldn't go to school because this girl that she heard about, her name was Helen Keller. And Helen Keller was blind and she was deaf. Oh, that's terrible. She didn't hear the birds singing. She didn't hear anything. Was that permanent? Yes, she was permanently blind and deaf. But Anne Sullivan heard about her and she was a bit older and she said, I will take care of Helen Keller. Oh, that must be very hard. She must have had a, a lot of, what's that thing? Patience. Yes, she had a lot of patience because what's she doing with a deaf and, and a blind girl? She decided to teach Helen Keller how to read, how to write, how to talk. And could she do that? With a lot of patience. She taught her how to read Braille, how to write, how to listen, to vibrations and then she could understand other people. She even put her hands on the lips of Anne Sullivan to try and find out what she says. Oh that's wonderful! So in the end Helen Keller could read and write and talk. Yes, in a very special way and she became a very famous person who helped other people who couldn't read and write and talk. Even being blind and deaf, yes, just shows you what a lot of patience can do to us. And was Jesus patient too? Jesus is still patient with us every day. I want to be patient too, just like Tony Anne. Just like Anne, yeah, but we need to ask God to teach us because it's also the fruit of the Spirit. And if we have the fruit of the Spirit, then I will have patience. Yes, so if you listen to the Holy Spirit speaking to you every time you are disobedient, every time you are irritated, every time you are impatient, uh, then, then I can learn patience. <laughs> yes, then you can learn patience. But I think we shared a nice story. Maybe we can just share a song. Uh, do you know a song? Yes, I know a song. Actually, it's that Bible verse in Psalm 145 that says, The Lord is gracious and compassionate. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. Slow to anger 
and rich in love. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. Slow to anger and rich in love. Slow to anger and rich in love. It was nice singing the song with you. Thank you so much. Now I know a song and I know a Bible verse. That's so wonderful, House Mouse. I so enjoy when you visit all these friends with me. Uh, do you think they like the videos? I think they like it because they send us some emails and they phone us and they say they like it. But they must show us by just pressing the button here on the phone or on the the internet or at YouTube and just say I like you I want to follow you and if you like me share me with your friends oh that's a good idea so from me and house mouse it's goodbye bye bye